will never, ever surrender to the woke mob. Florida is where woke goes to die. I think they mean black. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just another way to say thug or something else, right? Yeah. It is what it is. It doesn't belong to us anymore. Mm. And, you know, once something goes out in the world, it takes a life of its own. It's an energy of its own. I can tell you what woke means. It just means being aware, being in alignment with nature. Because if you're in alignment with that, you're aware of everything that's going on. And it's not only in the political arena, that means with your health, it means in your relationships, that means in your home, that means in your car, it means mm. in your sleep. Greetings to my so-called black sisters and brothers all over this place we call Earth. I'd like us to engage in some food for thought, G. As so-called woke and spiritual black people, Abantu, and ask ourselves this simple question, which I think can help us go deeper into finding out the issues that are still tearing us as a people, especially in the woke or spiritual space. And the question is, why did you choose to become spiritual or woke? What happened in your life that led you to be the person that you are today, who regards themselves as spiritual and woke? I ask this because all sectors of spirituality in their multitude of differences, for there are many types of spirituality out there, but I believe or think or know that um, they all agree on the fact that we are all essentially uh, the creator, the universe source, having these experiences as these individuals that we are. As in, I am source, the creator, having this experience as Katemba Kakesu. Know thyself. Seems to have been answered uh, in all forms of spirituality. Not sure if it is practiced, but we've become conscious of it though. That essentially we are the creator, source, having these experiences as our lives. And apparently or essentially the, the work or the purpose of spirituality is said to be to help one come to, into consciousness of that fact that they are essentially the creator having a so-called Muntu experience. I don't want to say human experience because we are not humans, but you get the picture. We are the creator having these experiences or these lives. Seeing a so-called black Negro people. So my black sister, my black brother, why did you become spiritual or woke? And since you are woke and spiritual now and are aware that you are actually the creator, source, having this experience, what is the ultimate goal for you being here in this spiritual woke space? I think we should ask ourselves this question at least once or twice a day because there seems to be a discrepancy between the true purpose of spirituality which is to know thyself right, that you are essentially spirit, not flesh and blood, but essentially spirit, with the reality of the reality we are having as flesh and blood. I hope I do get this straight. But what I'm trying to say is, there seems to be a confusion between what we need to get out of spirituality and what we expect to get to get out of these experiences or reality as being of flesh and blood, having these experiences as the people you recognize or identify with. Let me try doing it with, with an example. Let's say I'm a man in my early or mid 40s and I was hoping I would have been married, with children, family by now. Maybe I'm into business, 
I was hoping by now my business was a big thing, making me a lot of money, right? That's the flesh part, the experience that I'm having. Then essentially come to the realization that uh, I am essentially a spirit, not this flesh and blood and bones. Then embark on a spiritual journey. But then from this spiritual journey, expect that since I am being spiritual now, then uh, this desire that I had of having a family, children, a successful business will now come to fruition because I've just become spiritual. Thus, these desires of mine need to come to pass now. Am I not confusing myself and spirituality? Because if essentially I am spirit, aren't I supposed to be part of the spirituality thing for the needs of my spirit? I won't claim to know the needs of our spirits right now in their totality. I know we talk about how our spirits require tranquility and peace, but I am still searching myself, so I won't claim to know exactly what our spirit desires within these realities. But all I'm saying is, they are there though, essentially, that which we need to fulfill, to fulfill our spirits, which essentially we are. But for some reason, we enter a realm of spirituality which has to do with our spirits, our souls but do so looking forward or hoping for animal or physical rewards, so to speak. Hence, I say we should ask ourselves at least once or twice a day why we chose to be woke or spiritual. I think the more we do that, the more we can actually find this true purpose or desire which our spirit longs for within these vessels of ours. Because again, it is essentially our spirit that tends to pull us away from our fleshy needs and fleshy desires into seeking spirituality because essentially it wants to be fulfilled. For essentially, we are spirit, not the vessels that we occupy these bodies of ours with their emotions, needs and desires. So yeah, just food for thought, my amazing, great black sister and brother. Why did you choose to be spiritual or woke? Was it truly for your spirit or covertly for the needs and desires of your vessel, your flesh and blood? Ugo Tula.